finally arrived here on the 15th of May. We just got to get these other vehicles off. Jeep Nation, oh my goodness, I can't, we, we have so much planned for this Gladiator. This is gonna be the craziest build in the history of YouTube. Jeep Nation, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because the build videos and what we're gonna do with this Jeep, you're, you're gonna want, yeah, yeah. I wanna climb up so bad, but I, I'm trying my best to wait. Uh, we gotta remove that one, that one, that one, and then, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a while. My timing wasn't very good, I'm gonna miss the cold start. No, I'm not. Okay, we need to straight pipe that immediately. Ben, in the PDI, can we, can we cut the muffler? Is that possible? Gone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna straight pipe this baby. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. There's nothing better than delivery day. Whoa, thing is wicked. The 2020 Gladiator has arrived. Dude, I'm so excited, this is so sick. 61,275. Oh, this is so wicked. What? Okay, so Ben gets to drive it before me, but that's okay. There's nothing like the smell of a fresh new Jeep. I wish I could convey the smell of you guys. Uh, wait, the smell of you guys. That was awkward. I wish I could smell. <laughs> I'm very excited. Can you blame me? I think this is the fifth Gladiator delivered to the beautiful state of Utah. This is going to be the most built Gladiator you've ever seen, and it's going to have a lot of miles. Oh, there's UHP. I need to get window tent. We are headed into the service center to get the PDI, that is the pre-delivery inspection. Today's video, we are 100% engine swapping the Gladiator, and so we need to get a baseline. We need to find out how fast is this 3.6 liter V6, 285 horsepower. I brought my Audi R8 out here about a year ago. I hit 155 miles an hour, and then I took my JK Wrangler to another dry lake bed up in Oregon, and I think it hit like 104. So I think the Gladiator might Maybe 110, we'll see. When I came out here in the R8, I did 155, but that was only through fifth gear, so I didn't even get to sixth, but we only have about two and a half miles of straight. So I'm gonna go around here, and then this is our racetrack right there. This is the world's first top speed run in a 2020 Jeep Gladiator, 45 miles an hour. Come on, Jeep Nation, feel the burn. There's 60. Come on, Gladiator, feel the, okay, we need a V8. We need a V8, like this is ridiculous. 80 miles an hour. I mean, she is true and straight. I'll give her that. Come on, Jeep. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ninety-seven. So, I think we're electronically limited to ninety-seven miles an hour. I don't think the Jeep will go over that. Okay, now let's get a little. <laughs> It's a little bumpy. We're good. We're good. We're good. 97 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? 97. My JK Wrangler, I think it did 105. I should have watched the video beforehand, but it's definitely electronically limited. 97. But there's a V8 coming to a vlog near you. Ooh, that's what we want. That's sick. Yes. You OG subscribers, you might remember when I had my JK Wrangler, I did the AEV two and a half inch lift kit. But for the Gladiator, we decided, you know what? Yeah, probably, probably should go big. Six and a half inch Evo manufacturing. This is gonna completely transform the Gladiator. I don't wanna turn my YouTube channel into a Craigslist advertisement, but if you're interested in my stock tires and wheels, uh, send me a DM, maybe an email. Also, the motor, the stockers. Four wheels, we'll give them the spare too, right? Right. Yeah, you guys get the spare too. Uh, so yeah, you heard it. A thousand dollars, brand new wheels and tires for the Gladiator. We got a lot of room here under the Gladiator, though. I think we have enough for a third axle. Also, we need a new exhaust because, well, it doesn't sound very good. This is the stock spring, and this is the new one from Evo. Six and a half inches. This is going to completely transform the Jeep. <laughs> no, no. I know, this is what oh, come on! Are you kidding me? He said Chick-fil-A 10 straight days. <laughs> Not a paid product placement for Chick-fil-A or its affiliates. Originally, I wasn't gonna film this, but I kind of, I don't, I just, I have to share this moment with you guys. So these are the new wheels for the Gladiator from Pro Comp. Wait for it. They're gonna be anodized soon, so this is not the color we're going with, but these are the wheels. And like I said, we're, we're not going chrome. Like, trust me, guys. We are not going chrome under any circumstances. Uh, they're gonna be anodized. But these are the wheels from Pro Comp. True beadlocks. These are gonna look so sick. Warning for off road use only, not for highway use. We are definitely 100%. We're not gonna drive it on the highway. Like, we're definitely not. Winning. 
That's all we do, boys. We just win, 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 win. win. Well, we lost that one. There was that one time we lost a transmission when we did donuts in a CTSV, but you guys didn't see that. We are almost there. Todd is just torquing everything down. We got the new control arms there from Evo. We got the new springs. We're starting to sort of get a visual of what it's gonna look like. Obviously, the springs are not compressed quite yet, but uh, yeah, six and a half inch lift is gonna be huge. Wait for it, wait for it. I can already tell how sad and pathetic it's gonna be. Okay, so yeah, these are like 32, maybe 33 inch tires, not really sure, but there is the six and a half inch Evo kit. Don't worry, I can tell you guys are triggered. Yes, we are gonna be raising the size of the tire here very, very soon. We're actually gonna give you a sneak peek right now. Oh. The 40s are coming very, very soon, but for the time being, it looks ridiculous. Todd just made a good point. I, I don't think we're gonna, I think we're gonna scrap the 40s. I kind of like this look. This is it, Stance Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, 40s on Friday. Now we can sort of start to visualize what it's gonna look like. This is gonna be the perfect, perfect stance. Six and a half inch Evo lift with the 40 inch tires. This is gonna be ridiculous. So we're actually gonna be trailering the Jeep up to Park City to Clayton to Summit Auto Lab uh, we're wrapping it. Looks like one of those Cadillac lowriders you see. It's starting to sink in right now. Like the Gladiator finally lift tires is gonna be an absolute game changer. I can almost start to visualize what it's gonna look like with a third axle and I like what I see. So we're trailering it up to Park City. We're waiting on one more part. So we could drive it, but not only does it look ridiculous, but it wouldn't be very safe. Matt Iced Amethyst Titanium. Clayton and Faith have been putting in the work. They've been working nonstop for 72 hours. Guys, check this out. Oh! Oh, it looks so, so good. The Aventador looked amazing in purple, but I'd reckon the Gladiator might even look better. So Clayton's getting ready to wrap the hood. Faith is over here wrapping the fender. It looks so good. So guys, tomorrow, tomorrow we are getting new tires, new wheels. Clayton, Faith, and I are driving this to Michigan because the V6, that's just not adequate. You know, Clayton needs power. Auto lap, finish the wrap on the Gladiator, also window tint. The window tint is 100% legal. Pretty sure. Agility Customs, look what they just finished, jeez. So we are headed off to Michigan in the morning. Uh, I have to get two cars home though, so we're gonna hop in the Aventador, take it home, Uber back, get the Gladiator, drive home, go to bed, and go to Michigan. We're just doing a little photo shoot right now with the Gladiator and the Hellcat in preparation. Keep coming, keep coming. Yep, you're good, you're good, you're good, yep. We have the 6.2 Hellcat, we're talking 707 horsepower. So we have the standard 3.6 liter. Uh, the Hellephant is a seven liter, like 7.0. This is a 6.2, and somehow that is gonna fit in this. Also, the coolest thing about it, it's a thousand horsepower crate motor, OEM, and so it comes with a warranty, which is simply unheard of. Like Lamborghini has never in the history of the entire company built a motor with a thousand horsepower, and I'm gonna have one with a warranty from Mopar. Uh, as far as timing, the Hellfants have not arrived yet. I'm hoping around the 1st of July. Hi, in three, two, one, go! That Hemi sounds so good, and to think that soon the Gladiator is gonna have a thousand horsepower crank, uh, horsepower, th wait, I messed that up. It's gonna have a thousand crank horsepower elephant. Looks so good. I, I hate to embarrass Clayton like this, but you know what? He deserves it. I, I, I messed that up. I don't know what happened. I my foot hit the brake, not the gas. It's just so embarrassing for him. I mean, he never really stood a chance.
Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome here to a perfect day in the state of Michigan. That's right boys, we're back here in Michigan, we're headed up to America's Most Wanted 4x4 because the Hellcat Gladiator, it's done, it's done. I cannot remember the last time I was this excited. We're going to have a 707 horsepower Jeep Gladiator. We're here at Rally Porsche's garage, I don't know which Porsche we're going to take, uh, but we are driving the Gladiator back to Utah starting today. This excited, it's been so long. I dropped off the Gladiator in June, so it has been two months. HP Tuners, America's Most Wanted. I cannot wait to see what's under here. Here we go. Do you know how to operate that? You know what you're doing? No, it's not a Porsche. Oh. <laughs> We've done it, boys. Check this out. That thing is massive. The crazy thing is this is a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. We're gonna be installing a seven liter in soon. So this is the Hellcat. We're gonna still be getting the Hellifant. It's just been delayed ever so slightly. Get a couple revs. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness, boys. We have done it. We have officially arrived. Wow. We have created a monster. We're gonna perform a bit of a burnout, if you will. I've decided that at some point along the journey, I'm gonna wanna do a burnout. I'm gonna wanna do donuts. There's no better place to do it right here than America's Most Wanted because if I do blow the axle, well, this is the place, because they can fix it. We're here with Alex from America's Most Wanted. He is our burnout specialist. Sort of a connoisseur, if you will. Uh, he's, he's the professional, so we're good whatever. Yep, yep. <laughs> he's shutting it down. All the electronics keep shutting it down. Yeah. <laughs> we also have Rally Porsche's uh, GT3 sitting right there. They were kind of sort of sweet. There's nothing like the smell of fresh rubber in the early morning in Holly, Michigan. Oh my goodness, what have we built? What has America's Most Wanted built? I've never really done like a real burnout. I did one in the Supra, but that was just like nonsense because I didn't have enough power. This, however, this does. Never doubt, full send. We've reached the curiosity portion of the vlog. I already broke it. Um, I broke it, boys. I broke it. I've done it. Uh, we're currently, yeah, if you put it into drive, we, well, yeah, I broke it, boys. It, I broke. <laughs> we're able to drive it in four low right now. Uh, this is what happens when you put a Hellcat on stock axles. Yes, I'm an idiot, I'm a loser. The plan was when we got back to Utah was to replace the axles and then I got immature and I had to do a burnout. I had to, I, don't know, I didn't have a choice. I, did, I, I truly actually did not have a choice. There was just pressure from, from Nick. I'm blaming you. <laughs> I am a complete and utter idiot. I'm pretty sure I just blew the axle on the Gladiator Hellcat 707 horsepower on a stock axle. The plan all along was to drive it home to Utah and then swap out the axles, but unfortunately, my immaturity uh, got the best of me. So I was supposed to be in Chicago tonight. We're gonna try to get the Gladiator up on a hoist, see what the real issue is, and then kind of sort of go from there. Like These parts, they do not exist anywhere in the world except for Tennessee. So this is the one that sheared off right here, and this one is good to go. <laughs> it sounds so, so good. Can we see a fat burnout right here, right now? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Hey, it, was a, it was a joke, guys. No burnouts, no donuts, nothing until I get home. It is official. We are headed off to Chicago. The Gladiator to a 6x6 will save me money. Let me explain. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> that, that was probably four right there, but we're good. I'm not gonna say with 100% certainty we're gonna do a burnout, but I'm pretty sure at some point in today's video, we, we will be performing a burnout maneuver. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we will. Just another day here at Agility Customs. Check out this Land Cruiser. That thing is, obviously the project's gonna take quite a while. Uh, so yeah, enjoy this view because we're not gonna see it much longer. <laughs> Nicholas can carry his end, but I'm concerned about this side. I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind. You're good. Come on, you're up. Come on, what's up, guys? This is a rhetorical question. We gotta side dump it, right? We side dump it for sure. I'm pretty sure we side dump it. I mean, why not? I like that term. I've never used that on the vlog. Side dump. Take a moment, picture this right here. I'm gonna put the render right here in three, well, my hands are in the way. In three, two, one. Check that out. We actually have three axles. Bear in mind, they're not actually connected yet. But look at the frame right there. You see the tack welds right there. It is coming together. This thing is gonna be insane. This is an unexpected sequence in the vlog. Todd. Wow, you've been working out those forearms? Okay, yeah, we're gonna cut that out of vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That is your moment, I am not cutting that out. So Ryan's doing some tack walls right now for this cross member right here. We're still trying to figure out all the geometry to make it absolutely perfection. That is so beautiful to look at. Okay, so Todd, if I put the camera on you real quick, could you explain what we're doing right now? Um, arts and crafts. Okay, there you go. <laughs> take two. Second take. <laughs> arts and crafts. Wait, no, that's really what you're going with. Yeah. Safety is of the utmost importance. What did you just say off camera about these breaking in a million pieces and flying into people's faces? Well, sometimes they explode and land in people's When you say sometimes, from a percentage standpoint, are we talking 50-50? Are we talking 1 in 100? I've only seen it on the internet, 42% okay. of the time. So in Florida it happens. But it was on the internet, so it's <laughs> gotta be true. Sent his stats made up on the spot, so. Okay, another dad joke from Todd right there. <laughs> So this piece right here, this is the rear of the original frame. So this cut lined up with this cut. We have the additional frame right here. We're actually going to cut this again, weld this into that end right there. So that's why it doesn't fit quite perfectly. But uh, the frame, the proportions are going to be perfection. I'm getting so excited about the 6x6. So the next step, NASA, that's right, NASA is designing the coil buckets that will be welded onto the back of the frame right here. All these other brackets, so these are being made as well. So we're getting there, boys. We're hoping to have this driving here very, very soon. And obviously, we're going to have to do a burnout. So these tires, we did a lot of burnouts on. These are brand new. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but there is significantly more tread on these tires. But we're going to destroy these soon. That was a joke. So we're going to go get some cool rollers. Oh my gosh. It looks so cool on the road. Oh, the reincarnation of the Purple Army is back. But this time, we have six wheels. Check that thing out. Wow. It looks so crazy. It's so much better. The proportions are like absolute perfection. And those white wheels are just killer. I'm gonna hop in the back with Stefan. We're both risking our lives to get these effort shots. Obviously, Stefan's gonna be way cooler than mine, but. I just like to be a part of it. Don't discount yourself, bro. He's just so nice. Go follow him on Instagram, link below. Check this thing out.
I could just stare at this Jeep all day long. The proportions are absolute perfection. When Todd and I sat down to design this Gladiator, I was very, very specific. It can't be too long. It can't look like a tumor on the back end. The gap between the wheels can't be too large and it has absolutely been nailed to perfection. The back of the bed is raised up ever so slightly. We're gonna adjust these springs. I think they're like five and a half. We're gonna probably drop them to maybe four and a half, three and a half. Obviously right now, it's just an experimental prototype. It looks so crazy though. So this bed is eight feet long, probably the longest bed a part of Jeep Nation. Check this out. So the bed should be going off to paint here pretty soon. Obviously the fenders need to be made. They're gonna be made of fiberglass. These are actually plastic fenders right here. So we're gonna get some custom fenders made. I think it's gonna be here at the body shop for maybe three, four, maybe five weeks. Oh my gosh. I am getting so excited for this Gladiator. As soon as it's done, first thing we're doing, we're taking it to Moab to Hell's Revenge. Check this thing out. This is gonna have so much more road presence. It is absolutely massive. Now, one of the most important things with a Hellosaurus Gladiator is to make it look like it came straight from Jeep. And so that's kind of why the goal, like we're just leaving stock fenders. I don't have steel, well, I have steel bumpers from factory, but we're not doing a bunch of aftermarket accessories because I just want it to look like it came straight from Michigan. So you can see that rear roll bar right there and that little notch in the rear fenders as well. So that's gonna be added here very, very soon. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out. Agility Customs. You guys are never gonna guess. I walk into Agility Customs and Todd is doing a solo of Taylor Swift. He's just bumping, bumping, bumping. I like Taylor Swift. I'm a, I'm pro Taylor Swift. That looks so sick. Check that out. The Fender Arch. Todd put in the time and effort and the energy. This guy, who knew? That's right. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. We were going back and forth. Do we notch? Do we not notch? Do we notch? And yes, sir, yes, sir. We definitely did the notch. And I'm so glad. It kind of mimics the Mercedes 6x6, which is really the inspiration for this entire build. Now, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure without hesitation, this is not OSHA approved. This man should never be touching a forklift, but he is. Oh, well, hey. Hi, I'm approved. Are you? Now, if I could describe exactly what we're doing, I would, but I, I really don't know. Todd just said, let me go get the forklift, uh, and now he has the forklift, and yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we're trying to figure out how much we need to trim off right here, because as you can see, it's very, very close, and for off-roading, we don't want to rip this off. This piece is very, very expensive. We're basically checking clearance right now, and this middle axle is pretty much perfect. We basically have almost full clearance. This fender piece is very, very expensive. When we're off-roading, I do not want to rip this off. Repeat, do not rip this off. There's no other way to say it other than that good things take time. Check that out, that thing is such a monster. How sick does this look? Oh my gosh, we're getting so, so, so close. A couple things I want to point out. So obviously, we have the Hellcat motor, 707 horsepower. Now, if we were running stock axles, we would destroy those. You guys, I might remember we, we did. We did destroy one of those. We actually have the one ton Curry axles. Like these axles, I don't want to say they're unbreakable, but effectively, like you can't break them. There's a bunch of other details on this Gladiator that you wouldn't notice to the untrained eye. The key detail that nobody notices, the bed looks like 100% factory. There's no seam, there's no cover right here. So we actually fused two beds together and spent so, so, so many hours to make it look completely smooth. Just check that out. Like this bed looks straight like it came from Mopar. Goodness, goodness, goodness. It took a little bit longer, but I think it was well worth it. We upgraded the 40 inch tires to the 42s. Goodness, I gotta get back in shape. But check it out, boys! Finally! Yes! <laughs> and go! <laughs> oh, we just hit the rev limiter. Oh my gosh, that supercharger wine is unreal. First impressions, I'm amazed at how nice it drives. It drives like a lifted Jeep, okay? Lifted Jeeps are not the nicest trucks to drive in the entire world, but it drives just like that. You don't even realize there's a third axle. There's a third axle. I don't know why that sounds cool. I realize when I go through like toll booths, I'm gonna have to pay extra. I'm gonna have to stop at way stations. Hmm. Just a couple baby revs, not because we should, but because we can. <laughs> that supercharger wine, there's nothing that whines quite like that. Okay, there's a school next door. They're not gonna be happy. Let the bald eagles fly. That's a Hellcat. That's a real Hellcat. That's not the knockoff. That's the real.